Firefighting planes, also called water bombers or air tankers, are vital in combating wildfires. These aircraft showcase remarkable agility and precision, dropping water or fire retardants to control and extinguish forest fires. They assist ground crews, especially in areas that are hard to access or when fires spread rapidly. Equipped with large tanks and advanced technology, they skillfully navigate challenging terrains, smoke, and forest canopies to deliver targeted water drops. From planes that skim water from lakes to those that simulate rainfall, these aerial heroes are essential in wildfire management. Here are the 10 best firefighting planes in the world. Number 1. BIE B-200 Allaire. The BIE-200 Allaire, designed by Russia's Bereev Aircraft Company, is a jet-powered amphibious plane built for firefighting but versatile enough for search and rescue or maritime patrol missions. This remarkable aircraft has onboard tanks that can hold up to 3,200 gallons 12, liters, of water or firefighting liquid. Its unique design features retractable scoops that allow it to skim water from seas with up to 4-meter waves collecting a full load in just 14 seconds while traveling at 90% of its takeoff speed. In firefighting operations, the B-200 can travel up to 124 miles 200 kilometers, from its base to a water source and make over 8 continuous trips between the reservoir and the fire. When it reaches the fire site, the plane slows to just 220 kilometers per hour 137 miles per hour releasing its entire water load in less than a second, providing precise and powerful fire suppression. Additionally, it can carry six auxiliary tanks with 320 gallons 1, liters, of fire retardant chemicals for extra effectiveness. The B-200's design is incredibly versatile, with removable water tanks that convert the plane for cargo transport or seating for up to 72 passengers. With only 19 units built, each costing around $60 million, the B-200 is a true multi-role aircraft. <music> Boeing 747 Super Tanker the Boeing 747 Supertanker is the largest aerial firefighting aircraft in the world, adapted from various Boeing 747 models. Initially developed by Evergreen International Aviation, the first Supertanker was based on the 747-200 and made its firefighting debut in 2006 during operations in Cuenca, Spain. Its first U.S. mission came in 2009, tackling California's Oak Glen Fire. Known for its size as a passenger plane, the 747 took on the challenging role of firefighting, showcasing its power and versatility. The supertanker can carry an astonishing 19,600 gallons 74,000 liters, of fire retardant or water, enough to make a massive impact on wildfires. It features a pressurized liquid drop system that can release its payload in two ways under high pressure to target a specific area or in a gentle, rain-like fall for wider coverage. Flying at altitudes of 400 to 800 feet and speeds of around 160 miles per hour, 260 kilometers per hour, it performs drops with precision, mimicking a landing approach. The tank system allows for segmented releases, enabling the aircraft to lay down a fire retardant line up to 3 miles, 4.8 kilometers, long and 150 feet, 46 meters, wide. Three 747s were converted for firefighting at a cost of $40 million each, on top of the base price of over $410 million. Altogether, this marvel of engineering costs nearly half a billion dollars, cementing its status as an invaluable firefighting tool. Canadair CL-415 Super Scooper the Canadair CL-415 Super Scooper is an amphibious aircraft designed specifically for aerial firefighting, with additional capabilities for search and rescue and utility transport missions. Originally manufactured by Canadair and later by Bombardier, it is based on the Canadair CL-215 model but optimized for firefighting. The aircraft's main fuselage houses four water tanks with a total capacity of 7,000 liters 1, gallons. 
These tanks can be filled either on the ground using hoses or while in flight. For airborne refilling, the CL-415 uses two hydraulically operated scoops to skim water from the surface. This process requires a skimming run of just 410 meters, 1,345 feet, on water at a speed of 130 kilometers per hour, 81 miles per hour, allowing it to refill its tanks in as little as 12 seconds. The CL-415's water bombing system is centrally controlled through a water status panel, giving pilots precise control during firefighting operations. Its ability to fly at low altitudes and slower speeds ensures accurate water drops, delivering high water density and efficient patterns to suppress fires quickly. This precision allows ground crews to focus on extinguishing remaining hotspots safely. With around 95 units delivered and a unit cost of $40 million, the CL-415 is a crucial tool in wildfire management worldwide. The water bombing system is centrally managed through a water status panel on the flight instrumentation providing direct control to the pilots it can safely engage fires at lower altitudes and speeds offering precision in its attacks with an efficient drop pattern and high water density it can suppress fires rapidly allowing ground. Elysian Aero 76 The Ilyushin AROW 76 is a versatile, four-engined turbofan strategic airlifter originally developed by the Soviet Union's Ilyushin Design Bureau. While it was initially designed for transporting heavy machinery to remote regions, it has been effectively adapted as an aerial firefighting bomber. With a massive water carrying capacity of 13,200 gallons, 50,000 liters, the Aero 76 has been instrumental in battling wildfires across various countries. Its firefighting system releases liquid through a specialized door in the hull and deploys exploding capsules filled with fire retardant for widespread coverage. The AROW 76 is built for challenging conditions, capable of operating in low visibility and heavy smoke. It can extinguish fires while flying at speeds of 186 miles per hour, 300 km per hour, and altitudes of 200 to 400 feet above treetops. Its agility allows it to navigate mountainous valleys and other difficult terrains with ease. To date, 25 AEROW-76 aircraft have been modified for firefighting missions. Shin Maya US-2 the Shin Maya US-2 is a large Japanese amphibious aircraft designed for short takeoff and landing stole, utilizing advanced boundary layer control technology to enhance these capabilities and prevent stalls. Developed by Shin Maya, a seaplane specialist, it is an upgraded version of the earlier US-1A model used by Japan's Maritime Self-Defense Force for air-sea rescue missions. However, it is also highly adaptable for roles like aerial firefighting. In its firefighting configuration, one fuel tank is replaced with a massive 15-ton water tank, giving it an onboard capacity of 3,595 gallons 14, liters. While this reduces its range to 2,300 km from the 4,700 km range of the search and rescue variant, it allows the aircraft to focus on fire suppression with precision and efficiency. The tank is built to handle saltwater, foam, and fire retardant, and it includes water scoops for rapid refilling, automatic foam mixing equipment, and a computer-controlled water drop system for precise aerial deployment. As the largest firefighting aircraft in Japan, the US-2 combines cutting-edge technology with versatility. With a price tag of $113 million, it represents a significant investment in firefighting and emergency response capabilities. DC-10 Air Tanker the DC-10 Air Tanker is an American wide-body jet air tanker adapted from McDonnell Douglas DC-10 passenger planes, specifically designed for firefighting operations, particularly in rural areas. Operated by the 10 Tanker Air Carrier since 2006, these aircraft have proven to be highly effective in aerial firefighting missions. The DC-10 features a belly-mounted external tank with a capacity of 9,400 gallons 45,000 liters of water or fire retardant. This tank is divided into three compartments that can be filled simultaneously on the ground in just eight minutes. The entire load can be released in as little as eight seconds, with the drop rate precisely controlled by the flight crew to ensure optimal retardant distribution. 
This enables the aircraft to create a fire retardant line up to 300 feet, 91 meters, wide and 1 mile, 1.6 kilometers, long, offering substantial coverage in a single pass. Each DC-10 air tanker costs approximately $140 million and has been deployed in numerous firefighting missions across the United States and Australia. Its reliability, efficiency, and massive capacity make it an invaluable asset in combating wildfires. Antonov 32 Fire Killer the Antonov AN-32 Firekiller is a lightweight transport aircraft specially modified for firefighting. Originally based on the Antonov AN-32, this high-wing monoplane is designed to tackle fires using unique meteorological ammunition that can induce artificial rainfall over affected areas. The aircraft has a water-carrying capacity of 2,000 gallons, 8,000 liters, making it a vital tool in combating wildfires. During operations, it releases its firefighting liquid from two sets of tanks while flying at an altitude of 40 meters, 131 feet, and a speed of 240 kilometers per hour, 149 miles per hour. This results in a water drop zone measuring 160 meters, 525 feet, in length and 35 meters, 115 feet, in width, with a liquid concentration exceeding 1 liter per square meter. Martin 170 JM Mars. The Martin 170, a remarkable seaplane originating in the United States, made its first flight in 1943. With an impressive maximum range of 4,970 miles, 8,000 kilometers, and a top speed of 225 miles per hour, 362 kilometers per hour, it was initially designed for military purposes. At the time, it was celebrated as the world's largest seaplane, a title it held until 1947. Despite its groundbreaking design, only seven Martin 170 aircraft were ever built. After serving in military roles for several years, the fleet was eventually retired. By 1959, just two of these massive planes remained. These surviving aircraft were later auctioned and repurposed for firefighting, marking a new chapter in their legacy. Today, the Martin 170 stands as a testament to engineering innovation and adaptability. Air Tractor AT-8002F The Air Tractor AT-8002F is a versatile light aircraft that debuted in 1990, hailing from the United States. Designed primarily for firefighting, it also serves roles in military, police, and agricultural operations, showcasing remarkable adaptability. Its amphibious design allows it to take off from both runways and water, making it a reliable asset for combating fires of varying scales. The AT-8002F is both an initial attack firefighter and a support resource for ground crews, excelling in agility, reliability, and precision. Its ability to operate from remote airstrips, dirt roads, or small airports close to fire zones ensures rapid deployment. With a top speed of nearly 200 miles per hour, it can quickly transit between the fire and its base, delivering timely and effective firefighting support. Once over the fire, the aircraft slows to deliver its 800-gallon, 3,000-liter payload with pinpoint accuracy. It is particularly effective against brush and grass fires, as well as suppressing flames in dense canopies. Its agility and performance make it well-suited for challenging terrains, including mountainous regions, narrow flight corridors, and wildland urban interface zones. The AT-8002F's speed, maneuverability, and efficiency make it a crucial tool in modern wildfire management. Lockheed C-130 Hercules the Lockheed C-130 Hercules is a versatile American military transport aircraft powered by four turboprop engines. Renowned for its ability to operate from unprepared runways for both takeoffs and landings, it was originally designed for troop transport, medevac, and cargo missions. Over the years, its adaptable airframe has made it indispensable for a variety of roles, including serving as a gunship, supporting airborne assaults, conducting search and rescue missions, performing weather reconnaissance, providing aerial refueling and maritime patrol, as well as aerial firefighting. 
In firefighting operations, the C-130 is equipped with the Modular Airborne Firefighting System MAFS, a self-contained unit specifically designed for aerial fire suppression. The original MAFS setup includes five pressurized fire retardant tanks with a combined capacity of 2,700 gallons (10,000 liters). A newer MAFS version features a single large tank, increasing capacity to 3,000 gallons (11,000 liters). This updated system also includes two onboard air compressors, enhancing efficiency and performance. The C-130's durability, flexibility, and upgraded firefighting capabilities make it a critical asset in combating wildfires, especially in challenging and remote areas. Its ability to support multiple roles underscores its status as one of the most reliable and effective aircraft in modern aviation.